read out 66 youngsters, 66 squads for, for 2019. And so I created um, a few young teams. One of the teams is a, 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 a Mason uh, a kit, and I got 22 birds on them. I got a kit of South Africans, uh, and they're uh, 22 birds as well that I put in a kit. And I put a, a, a kit together of uh, my J Stardies and, and, and Rick Mees, and I also crossed uh, uh, three pairs. So I also got squabs that are, that are crosses, uh, Rick Mee and, and J Stardies. But that's, that's what pretty much I got going on right now. And what I'm trying to do now is fly them as much as I can. I know right now it's, it's, it's a little bit too hot, so um, you know they ain't much they, they, they're gonna do as far as uh, performance, plus they are young birds. So what, my main goal is for just to have them uh, up in the, in the air and um, having them uh, kidding. So, so by the fall, they should be ready and, and start to perform. Uh, some of these birds, they come in late as far as into the row, and uh, some come in early. So it's a matter of, of you know just giving them fly time and see what they do. My goal is to have a, a full kit of older birds uh, flying as my A-team. So, you know, we'll see what's up with that. Those birds that I got, I, I got put together, um, those are all birds that I picked from the sky. So they're ready in, in, in the performance and this is what I've been looking for to form my team. So hopefully they do something for me for the fall fly. I'm, I'm planning, it to, uh, planning to participate in, in this, this year's fall fly. So we'll see what they do. Right now, one of the things I also got to do is, is start cage training the, the squabs that I just uh, weaned from the parents. So I cage train them to where they're gonna go into the kit boxes and then I also cage train them for them to go into the loft. So uh, that's that's just the process that I that I do every day and I'll keep on doing it to all my birds already uh, trained and they're ready up in the sky. So like I said, I got 66 birds so far that I weaned from the parents and I got about 10 babies left on the on the nesting boat. I don't lose that many birds to the bird of prey, but I like to always kind of be prepared with birds just in case you come across, you know, uh, like any sickness. Uh, right here in Arizona, it's pretty hot. So sometimes my squabs, they, they get a little stressed out after I wean them. So I'll probably lose about two or three. But other than that, by, by me going ahead and changing their water every day, feeding them properly, keeping their loft clean, uh, they're, they're pretty healthy. So, I mean, as long as I keep that routine, you know, everything goes pretty smooth out here. families that I'm working with uh, some people might say that you know that's too many families or that uh, you know that's just hoarding birds or whatnot but for the most part um, I feel I I got the setup to do that I got two laws and in each law I got four kit boxes the only thing with that is finding time to fly I try to fly uh, at least two kits uh, a day and then um, I'll go ahead I'll do two kits one day two kits the other two kits the other and I and I'll go ahead and rotate and what I do is on uh, Saturday and Sundays I'll fly early morning at five in the morning I'll fly a kit once it lands I'll wait about five minutes flag them right back up and I'll do that till I fly about four kits and then I'll go ahead and fly two more kits on, 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 on the evening. That's what I do for these pigeons. That's the passion I got for these birds. I'm here in the backyard every day.